when we're making melodies for Southside, there are a few key components we want to pay attention to. So that's what I'm going to cover today. So let's dive right in. We're in the BPM of 140 and here's the sample I'm going to break down today. the sample completely from scratch and there are some gems in there that I can share with you. I started the sample off with a pretty simple pad, sounds like this. Nothing special about it, just going from the 5 to the 6, alternating between those halftone steps to give it a dark white, and then of course playing the root note as well in C minor. There's a preset from Digital Flips from my brother Marco's company. I added a portal preset bounce from my Vision Portal Bank. It's part of the Vision Multi Kit. It's completely free. If you want over 100 fire free sounds, check the link in the description. Then I took the analog lab layers, put it into a new preset, but I don't have the preset open anymore. I exported it out, added some more portal and EQ, and here's what the layer sounds like. For those dark kind of melodies, it's always useful to export some MIDI into waveform because you can manipulate it even more. So for example, you could like speed it up, you could reverse it, you could cut it and reverse certain parts only. That's a dope thing you can do and definitely experiment with that. Next, laying those two instances with a low piano. Piano is from Contact, from Noir, the dark preset as always. Simple as that, nothing more to explain. Except I went into Vocalize 2 into the D-sharp minor phrases and I pitched them down three semitones. And that's the pattern I came up with. I added reverb to make it bigger, EQ to cut out some of the highs, and half them to make it deeper and slower, but what I did is I changed the smooth button to FX, so what that does is in the end of every two of every bar it kind of slides back into the non-reversed option, which sounds pretty cool. So that's what we have so far. The thing is really missing now to make it to, into a south side type of sample is the ethnic stuff. So I started off by adding this pattern. I'm gonna play it and then I'm going to break it down. To break it down properly, we need to check out the effects first. So what I did is I added a halftime on the 1.5x setting. And what that does is it kind of adds a triplet bounce. But important for you to know is that you have to pitch up the whole melody five semitones because it only pitches it down five semitones and not a whole octave. So if we keep it at the same scale as before, it would be out of key. I added a cue, cut out the lows and some reverb. So I actually started this melody off in C minor. I'm going to pitch it to C minor now so it's easier for you to understand and to explain. So essentially we just started off on the root note, went up to the two, two and the three. Two and the three, always a great combination for dark stuff. Just the halftone steps make it dark. I even like the two and the three combination more than five and six. If you use the five and the six too much, it more so turns into evil stuff. And for most use cases, that's too kind of evil sounding. What we have here is just a C minor chord, just goes from the C to the fifth to the G. And at the end of every four bars, just a little variation to make it more interesting. What always works good with those kind of guitar melodies is if you add multiple octaves, if you spread it out over multiple octaves and then kind of strum them up. So strum them up slowly, like in this case. But to get it into the right key, as I told you earlier from the halftime, we have to pitch it up five semitones. So don't get confused by that. Then I took the exact same guitar pattern. I added some heavy processing through portal on there. I don't have the presets open now but that's another trick I like to do is just have the one melody playing then heavily process it with portal then just have it either play in the same octave range or pitch it up so that's what that sounds like alone except I just added some accents for my sound kits and last thing is always adding a sub bass this time I cut out at the end of every 4 and 8th bar a little bit to make it more unique. So that's what that sounds like. The 
bass preset is from Analog Lab, Bass, Selm. So that's what the finished sample sounds like before pitching it up. Then I export it out, of course, as I already told you, pitch it up for semitones. And what you want to do if you export it out, sometimes if you pitch it more than two or three semitones, you want to create a new bass pattern and lay that down in the right correction because the bass can sound very muddy and not clean if you pitch it too much. So that's one thing you should do, just go to the bass pattern, make it unique and transpose it to the same amount as the melody itself. In my sample making process I really only use four scales and one is an ethnic scale that will perfectly suit for those Southside type of melodies as well. So if you want to see that, check this video out bro.